The stream of uninvited visitors to Bramo's Ashland, Oregon headquarters to see its Impulse sport bike already say it's the most highly anticipated electric motorcycle of the year. And finally, it's here. It's the Bramo Impulse R electric sport bike. This is Brian Wisman. He's the director of product development for Bramo, and I have to say you should be proud. <laughs> it's you. pretty awesome. Thank you. Represents a lot of hard work from the group back in Ashland, and um, we're just excited to finally be able to show it off to the world. This isn't the first time this bike has been shown, but this is definitely the final production version. Yeah, we showed the bike back in 2010. Um, we had a little bit different idea for how we would launch the bike to market with um, six, eight, and 10 kilowatt hour versions of the bike. We got overwhelming response for the 10 kilowatt hour bike, which uh, gave us some feedback that customers really wanted the maximum range. We also got feedback on having a, a two up riding styles and also motorcyclists that they love the top speed but really wanted more oomph off the line and so we've been able to give them that with the IET six-speed transmission. Obviously this is an electric bike because where you would put the nozzle for the gas it's electric. It's a J1772, the same sort of plug that you would use for a Nissan Leaf or Chevy Volt. This bike does not come with its own plug it's just anticipating that riders are going to pull up to already existing stations level two chargers and then they can charge this bike fully in three and a half hours. And that will give them about 100 miles of range. I just think it's cool that there's an electric bike finally where there's a clutch. <laughs> so can you talk a little bit more about why you decided to add a six-speed gearbox? With a direct drive system like what we have on the inertia, you always end up making compromise in terms of um, top speed or acceleration. And so with this bike, we've got great off-the-line acceleration and we've got great top speed owing to the fact that we have uh, six speed ratios that we can run through in the transmission. Um, another big benefit is that we've got given the motorcyclist a tool back, which is their clutch. The biggest question if you're going after a traditional motorcycle crowd is uh, how fast can this baby go? The Impulse R is, is capable and the Impulse base model is capable of over 100 miles per hour um, and it's capable of zero to 60 times roughly in about five seconds. My biggest concern when you first pulled off the wraps and wheeled this out was how are the batteries going to be packaged because normally the focal point of any motorcycle is obviously the engine. So I think you've done a really beautiful job. The Impulse R has a 9.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, the, it's a lithium ion battery pack. When you first introduced pricing for the Impulse, it was around 14 grand and people were already like, whoa, 14 grand for a bike that only does that? And now in the production form, it's costing at least $3,000 more. So can you talk about why you had to increase the price? We think the price is justified by integrating this uh, IET system. So really the performance benefit is, is quite a bit greater. We've got some really uh, good suspension components on the bike, brake components. We have uh, Marchesini wheels, we have Brembo brakes, we have uh, Marzocchi forks, and so um, we really think that for uh, an electric motorcycle to be successful, it needs to be presented at a very high quality level, and that makes a big difference in terms of uh, the bike being successful and for it to be uh, accepted by the motorcycling public. Now, if only they would let me ride it. I, like the 2,000 other people who pre-ordered this machine, will have to wait until at least June. For the Los Angeles Times, I'm Susan Carpenter.